we're doing here today is essentially an act of self-defense. We're doing this not just for us and the children in our lives, but we're doing it for you and the children in your lives too. This is a climate emergency. This is a code red for humanity. And that is not just a headline that can pass through the media in 24 hours. That is our new reality. And it's gonna get exponentially worse. And we've got a chance. There's still a window. We can still salvage human civilization. But people have to get serious. People have to get on the streets. People have to think about how they can contribute to this movement. So join a group. If it's not XR, make it Blockade Australia. Make it FLAC. Make it anybody who's doing non-violent direct action and civil disobedience because that's all we got left and it is our last best hope. Children singing comet justice now. People got rise like the water. Our futures are alive. I hear the voices of our children singing comet justice now. Yeah, I, I, what can you say? We've tried everything else and nothing's working. Nothing's working, so, yeah. I guess this has been 10 years or so for me in the making. And, I, yeah, I guess that I'm doing it because of, well, particularly because of my five grandkids, but also because of, like, people are suffering now. The people that are asked, suffering the most are the ones that have contributed the least. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we're escalating this today to yeah, just to show we're not going away. And hopefully, there's a few people that think that are inspired by this and start doing things as well. It's all about numbers for politicians, and that's what we're hoping comes from this. There are a whole lot of people in the states that were alive yesterday that aren't alive today because they were battered by, smashed by uh, tornadoes during the night. So it, you know, it's happening all the time, we just can't ignore it. Uh, the mainstream media is, but uh, that's why we're here. The oceans are rising, no more compromising. 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 But as we know, the major security issue that we're facing is Climate crisis! Climate crisis is the major issue that we're fighting. We have a situation at the moment where the government pretends the security issue is, uh, uh, I don't know, even know, defence. Defence, what does that mean? And they're spending $30 billion in a year on a weapons industry. Shame! $30 billion a year that could be spent on the climate crisis because that's the actual emergency. The actual emergency is... The climate crisis. The actual emergency is... The climate crisis! We know that that's the actual emergency. But the government doesn't actually attend to actual emergencies. The government actually attends to the corporate interests that run its own bureaucracy. The government is in fact a bureaucracy organised to work for the corporations, the fossil fuel corporations and the weapons corporations. Their job, shame, shame, their job is to shift money from the public sector, mainly from Aboriginal land. And we meet here on Aboriginal land. We meet here on land that has never been ceded. Exxon New, Exxon lied. Now our kids are terrified. Exxon New. Exxon lied, now our kids are terrified. Exxon knew, and Exxon lied, 
Now our kids are terrified. When we talk about climate justice, we mean taking part in swift and decisive direct action forever. This is not going to stop. There is always going to be something we have to fight for to protect this place from corruption until we're able to mitigate for the breaches of power that have corrupted our world thus far and get rid of the unjust structures of power that have destroyed all ability for us to do things in a so-called democratic way. And so today we're blocking the entrance to one fuel terminal and people are going to continue doing this until they don't exist anymore. And that is the long and short of it. We need to take part in direct action. And if you're watching this and you haven't done it yet, there's going to be another one and another one after that and another one after that. For me, I think of it not so much as a long campaign as a really short campaign, because we win in the next year or two, or we don't. And at that point, I'm going to party like there's no tomorrow because there will be no tomorrow, no livable tomorrow. But here we are with a really good crowd at ExxonMobil today. And this is just the start. There's people have been waiting, waiting for the chance to get on the streets. This year is the year we've got to do it. Because win now, move into civil resistance, or in a couple of years, party like the snow tomorrow, and live with regret, unless you join us. While there's still time, it's no use waiting till next year. It's no use waiting till it's more convenient. There'll never be a convenient time to get up in the early morning and come down to ExxonMobil. But it's the most important thing you can do right now. It's the most satisfying thing you can do right now because it's the most important thing. It's the only thing at this point in history. Join the rebellion. I've tried, but I've also been set up to fail because of these systems that we exist within and because of companies like Exxon that don't give a shit if every koala dies tomorrow as long as they're still making profit for their shareholders. Every one of those shareholders is culpable. Everybody who makes decisions in companies like these, I mean, I want to say needs to be put on trial. At some point, there's going to be the climate trials and the people who've been making these decisions are going to be held accountable. It's not the workers. We're not here to blame the workers. It's not their fault. The people making decisions in parliaments, the people making decisions in boardrooms, all of them are culpable and all of them They'll either be held accountable or there isn't going to be a history book for them to be held accountable in.
got more chance of getting more media and that's reaching more people. So um, that's probably not what you want to hear. No, but, but that's okay, I get it. So, um, but at the same time, because we've been reasonable and said that we're going to unlock at 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. and your superiors haven't accepted that, um, personally it makes me a bit more determined to lock on them and nothing personal against you, but make you move us. Because I think we have been very reasonable. That's why we're doing what we're doing. Yeah, the collapse of human civilization as we know it. You think people lost their minds over toilet paper? What do you think they're going to do when there's no food on the shelves? How busy do you think the police are going to be when there's no food on the shelves? People are fighting over food. We're talking a full-blown dystopia. You might think we're silly for doing this, but we've tried everything else and nothing else has worked. They're still throwing fuel on the fire, and that fire is going to consume us all. That's the world we're looking at. These people have known about it for 50 years, and they've doubled down, and they've, and they've bought dodgy politicians, corrupt politicians, and they've spent tens of millions of dollars funding the climate denialist movement to confuse the public, and they've done a bloody good job at it. 